This video is for understanding inverse Laplace transform. The aim of Laplace transform is to convert frequency domain to time domain that is S domain to T domain. So these are the most useful transform pairs. So if you have 1 by S then it is in T domain it will be equal to 1. Similarly, if you have 1 by s raised to n, it would become t raised to n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial. Also, if you have k divided by s plus a, where k is a constant, you can retain that term k and for 1 by s, you can write it as u of t. And since it is shifted by a, it means that there will be an exponential term that is e raised to minus a t by shifting theorem. Similarly, if you have k by s plus a the whole square, then it will become same as the previous one. Then that will be multiplied by t because you have this power or 1 by s squared term. Next, we can make use of partial fractions to find inverse if it is not in the standard format. The ones on the right hand side are the standard format that is we can use to take the inverse easily. So if you have terms like s into s plus a into s plus b etc. then bring it to this format. If you have a second degree term like this that is s squared then it would be b s plus c on the RHS. You don't have to bother about the nr or the numerator that is given over here. It is automatically converted after partial fraction into some terms a, b, c which we will find as explained in the upcoming slides. Then if your term contains an nth power then we have to have separate powers on RHS till the power n. This fourth one is not so important. It is just shown here for your awareness. And if in the denominator you have s squared plus 2a plus b where b is not the perfect square then you can split it into complex roots that is alpha plus bj and alpha minus bj. So let's do problems based on this topic. So first we have to determine the inverse Laplace transform for L inverse of 2s by 4s squared minus 16. So here the denominator contains common term 4 so bring it outside that can be cancelled with the 2 in the numerator so you will get 1 by 2 which is a constant and which can be brought outside the bracket. So this term is s by s squared minus omega squared in that format. So if you take the inverse it can be cos h omega t. So here it is going to be cos h 2t. Next we have a very important question that is to find the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s minus 1 the whole cube. If you have a term of s in the denominator that is shifted by some term for example here it is minus 1 then after taking the inverse it would be multiplied by an exponential term in the numerator that is some e raised to a t. So here it would be e raised to 1 t since s is shifted by 1. This is according to the shifting theorem. So now what is remaining is 1 by s cube. So the inverse of that is t raised to n minus 1 by n minus 1 the whole cube. So the inverse of that is t raised to n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial that is t squared by 2 factorial. So this will be the answer. Our next question is to evaluate the inverse Laplace transform of 4s plus 3 by s squared plus 5s plus 6. So the denominator here can be split into the factorial terms s plus 2 and s plus 3. So first cross multiply it here 
and we have to find the constants a and b so substitute it as the roots that is minus 3 so that this term gets cancelled and so we get b is equal to 9 to get a substitute s is equal to minus 2 so that the b term gets cancelled and we get a is equal to minus 5 so now that we have got the constants a and b so we can convert it into this format and it is easier to take the inverse so the inverse of this term would be take minus 5 outside since it is a constant and 1 by s plus 2 is e raised to minus 2t since s is shifted by 2 and here 9 is a constant so bring it here and s plus 3 would become e raised to minus 3t next is a very similar problem to evaluate this s minus 1 has the power 2 so write two terms on the right hand side with denominator s minus 1 and s minus 1 the whole square had it been s minus 1 the whole cube then we will have one more term till that power is reached then another term c by s plus 2 which is corresponding to this so we have to find the three constants so you can substitute the roots to get it easily that is when s is equal to minus 2 a and b gets cancelled so you get c alone and then when s is equal to 1 a and c are cancelled so we get b in order to get a you can substitute any value so here I gave 0 so that we can get a easily now that we have got the three constants a b c we can easily find the inverse So 2 by 9, 1 by 3 and minus 2 by 9 are constant so you can take it out and s minus 1 is shifting so it is e raised to plus t s minus 1 the whole squared is e raised to t and corresponding to 1 by s squared you will have a t term then s plus 2 will be e raised to minus 2t. So this